Hey there, today I have something really quick and easy to do in Photoshop. I want to show you how to create uh, fake sun rays in Photoshop. Taking pictures of uh, a picture like this, for example, you, where you can see the sun rays is not exactly the most, um, the easiest task, especially for beginners, because shooting uh, against the sun is not easy and it usually involves taking uh, multiple exposures. So assuming you have a single photo like the one that I have here and you wanna add sun rays to it, I wanna show you how to do it, it's really easy. I'm gonna open my stock image that I, well, the stock image that I used. Um, this is an image that I took myself um, yesterday actually and it looks like this uh, I just made some basic edits uh, in camera raw I'm gonna give you the edited photo so you have it it's free you can uh, you can get it from my website on the video description you'll find the link to it and we're gonna start working with this now the first thing we want to do is create a new layer and name it rays and you can make this non-destructively and actually we're gonna make it uh, partially non-destructive we're going to use a gradient, we're going to add a gradient um, adjustment and here I'm going to cl click on the gradient to open the editor and where it says gradient type we're going to change the solid to noise and you can see that we have uh, some colors here and if you click here on randomize you get different uh, color variations. Now we want to increase the roughness to 100 and the only thing that we want to have here is black and white so uh, we can see better the distribution uh, of the um, of the light and dark. So I'm gonna change the RGB color model to lab, and I'm gonna uh, move these sliders towards the center, the A and the B. This one as well over here, like that. Okay, and now we can see a lot better uh, blacks and whites. And now we can click randomize and what we want to have is uh, a more or less even distribution like this uh, maybe even this is too much white so you can add restrict colors or not depending on what you want to have I want to deactivate add transparency I'm gonna leave it like this maybe it's too much maybe we'll get too much sun uh, too many sun rays but we'll see and I, now I'm gonna change the style to uh, angle and I'm gonna click OK for now because I wanna change the blend mode to screen so I can see where I put this. And now if you wanna move this, you have to double click on the adjustment to open the small panel and now you can move this wherever you want. And I'm gonna move the angle and probably open the gradient editor again and choose randomize again until I get something that I like. The distribution of the rays is very important because um, it allows you to create more um, realistic uh, sun rays um, look like I have too much too much white there so I'm gonna still click the randomize until I get something that I like I'm gonna leave it like this click OK and maybe move the angle and see what I get uh, I think uh, that's okay I'm gonna leave it like that for for the tutorial it, uh, it will work I want to get something pretty much even if possible but I'm gonna leave it like this and click OK. Now I'm gonna turn this into a smart object because I want to um, soften this. I'm gonna go to filter, blur and choose Gaussian blur over here and the amount that you, the, of blurring that you use really depend on the rays that you have, how thin they are, the distribution, how big your canvas uh, is and, and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna leave it to 40 and I'm gonna leave it like that and now I'm gonna add a hue saturation on top and I'm gonna clip it by pressing alt and putting the mouse between the two layers and click this will only affect the rays now and I'm gonna check the colorize option and have I want to have a yellowish tone for this like that and now I'm gonna add a curves adjustment on top again clipped and with this, you can uh, darken uh, parts of it and uh, maybe recover the those parts there on the shadows, on the mid-tones. You don't want to have this sort of uh, color uh, um, problem here. Although it could look nice, maybe 
even a bit more realistic, like uh, splitting the light into different colors, but I don't want to have it that visible. Like so, maybe. And here on the hue saturation, you can also work with the lightness. If you move this to the left, the lightness slider, you can darken uh, the effect a bit. And that's pretty much it. It's not looking very realistic, so I could probably open this um, and probably change the distribution to something like this. Yeah, it looks a bit more, yeah, a lot better. See, that's why I like to work non-destructively. Now I'm gonna save because I opened this PSB file, the smart object, and now you can see that this looks a lot better. Um, once it updated the, the smart object, I'm gonna drag this lower a bit. Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna leave it there. Now I'm gonna create a layer mask and I want to use a regular, well, um, black to white using the radial um, type and just fade away the effect like that. I'm starting here. This is the map that I have. So uh, as I go um, away from the starting point, they, the rays start to fade out like that. And maybe with the hue saturation, probably saturate this a bit more and something like that. And you're pretty much done. Uh, you can also create a glow of light on a new layer set on screen with the brush tool. Let's sample a color from the image, something like that. And just put a glow of light over there. Uh, even so, I think the rays are too strong. So I'm gonna move this lightness slider a bit more towards the left. And uh, you can see uh, less is more, so don't overdo the settings. You just want to have a few rays there. And you don't want to overdo this. And then you can use, uh, I don't know, maybe a color lookup to um, add some color to your image. I'm going to use the hue blend mode and do something like that. Or maybe some curves to create a split tone effect like that. Maybe using this S curve. like so, and we're done. Let me show you the original image and with the sun rays. Original and with the sun rays. So that's it, that's how you can create sun rays in Photoshop. As you can see, it's not very difficult. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you wanna post your images, use the hashtag PSDbox on Instagram or Facebook. And that's all for today. I'm Andre from PSDbox, and we'll see you on the next tutorial.